Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Texas Video Guard. My name is Jared. In this episode, we're talking about how to trellis tomatoes. So the reason we trellis tomatoes versus letting them grow on the ground. So if we don't trellis them, they're gonna just fall over and they're gonna go spread out and grow on the ground. And the first main reason that we do this is so that we can utilize our land area the best. The analogy I like to make is that if we trellis them, basically we are building skyscrapers. And so we can fit more occupants on a smaller land mass. Now, if we decide not to use the trellis and they grow along the ground, you're going to have a small occupancy or less tomatoes on a larger area. So we utilize our land area the best if we can go ahead and trellis them and grow vertically instead of uh, growing along the ground horizontally. The second reason that we trellis tomatoes instead of letting them grow along the ground is because if they do grow along the ground, there's a lot of moisture, bacteria, and fungus that can come in contact with the leaves and with the fruit, the tomatoes themselves, and it's going to cause diseases like blight. So if we trellis them, they're staying away from all that moisture, the bacteria, and the fungus in the soil, and it's going to be, uh, they're going to have a less probability of having disease. They're still going to be very susceptible to, to diseases, tomatoes, just, that's just the way they are, but we can lessen that by growing up and staying away from the, uh, the soil. So tomatoes are a vining plant, however, unlike cucumbers and some kinds of squash, winter squash, and uh, green beans, they don't have what's called a tendril. This is a tendril right here, and what that does is it takes and grabs onto the trellis and grows up the trellis. So since tomatoes don't have those, we have to either put the tomatoes in large cages and they grow up the cage inside the cage, or uh, if we want them to be on just regular trellis, then we have to tie them to the trellis like this right here. So as they're growing up, growing up, we have to tie them on to the different parts of the trellis. Otherwise, they'll just fall over. If you've ever been to a garden center or a nursery, you've probably seen something like this. And they market these as tomato cages. The problem is they're only about three feet tall. So they're great for peppers and small bush tomato plants. However, if you're going to be growing something like the heirloom tomatoes or open pollinated tomatoes behind me, these tomatoes are going to be growing seven, eight feet plus uh, tall. And so you can build your own cages that are seven, eight feet tall. That's a lot to store whenever you're not using them. So it's going to be very cumbersome. So you can do that. Or what I like to do is uh, I put seven foot T-posts in between them. I have a, a wire string so that whenever I'm not using uh, it's not tomato season, I can go ahead and put these up and they're easy to store. To start your trellis, you will need 7 foot tall U-posts. You can get these at any farm supply store or hardware store. Before putting the U-posts in the ground, obtain a chair or some kind of small ladder or step stool so that you'll be able to be above the U-post as you drive them into the ground. Use a hammer, preferably a rubber hammer, to drive the post into the ground. When driving the post into the ground, you will want to drive it until the anchor plate is in the ground. This will help stabilize the post. Next, take some string or twine and tie it approximately one to two feet above the ground. The U-post should have a small hook every six inches or so. Tie the knot just above the hook. Then run the string down the length of your tomato row and measure approximately six to 12 inches of string past the second post and cut the string. Make sure to tie the string on the same level of hook as you did the first U-post. In this case, I am starting one and a half feet above the ground, or in other words, three hook lengths from the ground. Once you have both ends of your string ties to the U-post, you may notice that there is a little slack in the string. In order to correct this, simply wrap one end of the string around the hook on the U-post. Now that your trellis is up, begin with the first tomato plant and cut off all the suckers or side branches from the tomato so that you are left with one main stem or trunk of the tomato plant. I like to use stretch tie to the, tie the tomato onto the string because it will ex expand with the stem as the stem grows thicker. Any kind of durable string should work fine though. As the tomato plant continues to grow, simply add a new string to your trellis every one to one and a half feet above the previous trellis string and tie your tomato plant to it. This method of trellising tomatoes is ideal if you have rows of four to ten tomatoes per row. If you have more than 10 tomatoes per row, you should consider using more U-posts in between the two end posts in order to support the tomatoes. If you are growing three or fewer tomato plants, I would recommend just using individual stakes or cages to support your tomatoes.